Static Major was a rapper, singer, songwriter and producer. In his early 20s, he was behind some of the greatest hits in R&B history. Many may be unaware that some of their most favourite songs were written and produced by Static Major. Static Major's most iconic work was done with Arlia, Genuine and Timberland. He also worked with Lil Wayne and inspired Drake. Drake sampled a YouTube video where Static jams on the piano and talks about his inspiration in music. For the song, Look What You've Done, that was featured on his second album. Static Major was a Grammy Award winner. He also won an MTV Video Music Award and a BET Award. Sadly, many of them were won posthumously. His life was cut short unexpectedly and under the most bizarre circumstances, questions still remain till this day. Static Major, real name, Stephen Ellis Garrett, was born November the 11th, 1974, in Louisville, Kentucky. He would have been 47 this year. He started his music career in the group Player when he was still a teen. They were formed in 1990. The other members were Joanne Smoke E. Peacock and Benjamin Digital Black Bush. They were first called A Touch of Class and they met Devonte Swing backstage at a Jodeci concert. At the time, Devonte would look for new talent while on the road with Jodeci. He would hear auditions from various groups and solo artists who were local to the area. When Static and the other members met with Devonte, they sang boys to men songs for him and he asked them if they knew any Jodeci songs. That's when they sang Stay in a cappella, and he was impressed. He signed them to his swing mob in 93-94, which was associated with Electra Records. They eventually became known as Player because Devonte used to refer to them as Little Players. They contributed to Jodeci's album, The Show, The After Party, The Hotel. While in the swing mob, they connected with Missy Elliott, Timberland and Magoo, Genuine and Tweet. However, although the swing mob had such a promising start, consisting of legendary artists, extremely talented producers, songwriters and rappers, it unfortunately had a sad ending. One of the biggest problems the swing mob artists had with Devonte was how long he was taking to get their music out. They actually waited years and eventually each of them lost patience. Player eventually signed with another label and Devonte was phased out of the deal upon the label's request. This devastated Devonte, and he felt betrayed by the members of Player as he was really close with them. Eventually, things were never the same between them again. Different members of the swing mob claimed that they were mistreated by Devonte, and they left one by one. Missy Elliott was one of the first to leave. Having a chair hurled at her while in the studio was the final straw. Timberland said that they were overworked, didn't get much sleep and were even starved at times. In the end, they had nothing to show for it. After Timberland left the swing mob, he basically formed his own team with former members. He went on to do what Devonte really should have done. Static was part of that team, as well as Genuine and Missy Elliott. He got his big break producing Genuine's debut album and working on his debut single, the iconic song, Pony. Timberland eventually signed with Black Round Records, which is owned by Barry Hankerson, the uncle of Alia. By the time Alia was on her third album, she wanted to work with other producers. So her partnership with Static Major began. Alia worked on her third album while she was in Australia, filming for her new movie role. And Timberland didn't go there to work on the project. He didn't have any issues with Alia, but he did have a falling out with her uncle, Barry Hankerson. But in the end, they asked him to be part of the album. In the end, Timberland worked on We Need a Resolution and Try Again, and his presence on the album was felt. With Timberland working on the album, he was reunited with Static Major, and the results were legendary. Static Major wrote and produced many of Alia's iconic songs. They also dated briefly, in an interview with Vibe, Static Major's mother said they were, quote, definitely an item. 
She said they were very close at one point and spent a lot of time together. The opening line to the song, Are You That Somebody, was believed to be about Aaliyah, written by Static Major. The song opened with, Girl, I've been watching you like a hawk in the sky. Static's mother, Edith, said this was a song originally written about Aaliyah, but it was adapted for Aaliyah to sing. They were believed to have kept their romance a secret between 1997 and 98. Author, Kathy Iradoli, also confirmed the two dated in her new book released last month. They collaborated on Aaliyah's biggest hits, such as More Than A Woman, We Need A Resolution, Are You That Somebody, and her ill-fated song, Rock The Boat. Little Wayne also worked with Static Major on the song, Lollipop, and sadly, that was one of Static's last projects. Speaking of working with Static Major, Genuine said, First of all, he was a very talented person. He was really gifted beyond his years and way ahead of his time and so unique. It made him blow up the way that he did. He was a diamond in the rough in the beginning because I still remember days when he started writing. He would just try to learn and get his pen game going. He stayed around Devonte and Missy and seen the competition and wanting to beat the competition. He worked really hard at it. He took his writing to another level, far beyond what I could do, and a lot of other writers could in a short amount of time. Static was known to imitate his artists to the point where his voice would sound exactly like theirs. He emulated them. When he sang the sample for Pony, it was hard for people to tell the difference between Static's voice and Genuine's voice. Even when he sang samples for Aaliyah's songs, he would sing exactly like her. Aaliyah signed with Virgin for her third album and they collaborated with Blackground Records. The deal was believed to be worth $15 million. In 2008, while working on Little Wayne's song, Lollipop, Static began to have some health issues. He really wasn't feeling well at all while filming for the music video. He decided to fly home. He left the flight in a wheelchair after landing and he went straight to the hospital. He was admitted to Baptist Hospital East in Louisville. He was later diagnosed with a disease called myesthesia gravis. This is a condition where toxins in the body attack the skeletal muscles and cause severe pain and fatigue. In order to combat the condition, Static was advised to have a procedure which involved having a catheter inserted into the neck. This is referred to as dialysis catheter placement. The catheters are usually 15 centimeters in length and are designed to filter the blood, similar to kidney dialysis. The blood is supposed to be filtered of its toxins or autoantibodies. When the catheter was inserted into Static's neck, he was said to immediately have known something was terribly wrong. He felt a great deal of discomfort so it was decided that it would be removed. When they pulled the catheter from his neck, he started to convulse and tragically, he ended up bleeding to death. It is believed that his jugular was severed in some way. He died on February the 25th, 2008. He was just 33 years of age. At first, it was rumored that he may have had an aneurysm but his family always maintained that they suspected medical malpractice to be the cause of death. Just a year later, his wife, Avante Garrett, sued the hospital and it was believed to have been settled out of court. Even his doctor said that the procedure should have led to a full recovery within a day. It was such a senseless death, believed to have been caused by medical error. Another major talent gone way too soon under tragic circumstances that were avoidable, leaving fans to do nothing but wonder where his career would have gone, how he would have changed the face of R&B and hip hop in the decades that followed, how he would have left an imprint on the music industry. Many also wondered the same thing about Aaliyah. Were you aware of Static Major's work? And what are some of your favorite Static Major songs that he wrote and produced? Thanks for watching. Share your thoughts below. 
like and subscribe for weekly videos and don't forget to click the bell for more.